Hi guys, my name is Jenaba. Today I'm doing this video for my English class, English 112, section 5106. So today I'll be making African bay. So I'm with my guest, Aisha. Hello. Um, yeah, like Zara said, we're going to be making African beignets. Um, this is really made a lot in our culture, in our country where we're from, Guinea. Um, we usually make it as a Appetite. snack, right, an appetizer. Mm -hmm. But you can also make it as um, a dessert, like you know how they make it as French beignets, which are usually like dessert kind, but our... Ours is um, it's just like a normal for, street food, right? Uh, normal street food that we usually buy out, but family also make it a lot, so um, it's mostly for appetizers. Yes. Um, you wanna say the ingredients that we're gonna use today? Sure. So first, we use some sunflower rice. So basically, all you need is sunflower, some salt, a pinch of salt, a little yeah, bit, a pinch of sugar and some water yes then some water um, you don't some people use milk but you really don't have to use milk um we're gonna keep it simple today yes and it literally does not take a lot of time so it's like very easy fast to make and very tasty so i'm just gonna open this up <laughs> so as she's opening that um for those who want a recipe, because usually, <laughs> the way that we grew up, Africans usually eyeball when they're cooking. Um, but if you want to make it as a recipe, if you do um, two cups of um, flowers and about um, a cup of sugar. Now, the sugar depends on your taste. Um, if you like things really sweet, then you can add another half a cup but um, I think a cup will do. So two cups of flour, a cup of um, sugar, you can do um, re um, regular white sugars um, preferred, but if you have brown sugar or white, white um, light brown sugar, you can use those. Even powder sugar will be um, good too. Yeah, powder sugar will be good. It's just like you have to use a little bit more with powder sugar and a pinch of salt. So a pinch of salt, you can, use, you can do like half of a teaspoon of um, salt with it so for water you can do about a cup um you don't want the batter to be too thick you want it to be a little bit thin because you don't want the beignets to be heavy yeah it's very like light. when you're making a pinky for breakfast but you just have to wash your water a little bit so now she's adding the water so basically all i'm flour. doing is just adding the water to the flour and mixing it up so as i go here. so i just keep adding water as I go i don't like just add water one time so you, then you mix it up just like you would mix it up normal pancake then you can add the sugar so we're just eyeballing it here, but again, it depends on your um, taste and okay. on your taste and like how sweet you See, like. If things. you look like this, that's completely normal. All you have to do is just add a little more water to get like the way you want it to be. So you just kind of play with it and see how it goes. Make sure you mix it up very well. Like, yeah, you don't want any lumps in there. Yeah, um, and your sugar has to mix it well. It'll be like half done, half not done. Oh, let's not forget about the salt. Just, just a add a little bit. And oh, also, um, before we forget, for those who like um, flavoring, flavoring means that um, if you like, because I know in, in bake baking uh people like vanilla extract so yeah. if you like vanilla flavoring you can definitely add vanilla extract um it's not something that we're used to we don't use it a lot so we're not gonna we're gonna leave it out here okay once it get to this form you may want to add a little bit more water because it's still thick mm -hmm. so you want it to be a little bit on the looser side like yeah. um, a pancake batter if you would you just think of us as a pancake you know yeah. like you're making normal and it kind of tastes just like funnel cake, the ones you get at the steak fair. Yeah. Yeah. It's similar to that, yeah. 
only so, better because just think about as you making pancake as a funnel cake at home. <laughs> Once again, like this, you can kind of like see so you it. You should yes. be able to stick your. See, Nami did thing. a good job. Just mix it up so it doesn't all look blending well. Oh, so while you're mixing this, right, Zena, yeah. you want to um, set up your cooking oil. So now you're gonna we're gonna deep fry it. Um, just make sure. You, you have uh you turn off the heat on your oil so you can heat up preheat it before yeah. you're done with the mixture so the best advice to do this is just start the oil as soon as you start mixing because at the time you're done mixing the oil will be hot enough for you to start, for you to start frying it has to be really hot for you to start frying it so before you start dropping them there i would um recommend that you take a scoop a little bit and like just yeah, a like teeny just bit a little tiny bit and mm -hmm. taste and it and drop it in the oil so to know if it's ready the way i used to do it yeah so like that that's that's not oh, ready oil like that okay. see as a kid i used to look at it. if you drop it like if i drop one and it stay down it doesn't come up right away it means the oil is not ready you see how like it come up but it's supposed to come right away. It's supposed to be boiling. So if it's not doing that and it's not coming up right away, it means the oil is still not hot enough. It's getting high. So you just wait, give it a little bit more time, and keep mixing it. You know, the more you mix it, the better it will be. So don't worry about mixing it too much. Yeah, it'll still be okay. And also, if you have a little time in between, you can always because it's gonna be you know deep fried. You can set up your plates um the plate that you're gonna be putting the bangers on um so always best to put um like paper towels on top of the plate so you can suck in the ex you know excess oil yeah we run out of paper towel so i'm just gonna have to eat mine like this <laughs> make sure it doesn't hurt <laughs> Just a little more. Yeah. So speaking of ba uh, African baguettes, so like the African baguette is kind of something that we eat in our everyday life. It's kind of like our fast food. Usually you can get it before school or after school. A lot of children love it because it's cheap and it, it's tasty. And most of the time in our weddings, baby shower. So anytime like we have something ceremony or something get gathering in the family, we always make this for the kids. And we usually drink it with some ginger, do ginger juice, which is African homemade ginger juice. Okay, guys, fun fact. So this one, I went back and add a little more of flour to make it a little bit tighter because when i tried to fry it it didn't give me the look i wanted so you can always go back make any changes because you know it's the way you like to make it because it's better to, it, when it's thicker than it is when it's too loose so it's kind of supposed to look like a gum all right i think our oil is ready right now so we're just gonna put in the oil and give it some time yeah so this is what i was talking about the oil has to be boiling so you see when i put this in see how it boils that's how you need to ready um so that's what i'm gonna keep doing for a few minutes you just put them as many as i can don't put it too much give it some space We usually use that one and like and uh, I'm just gonna help flip it. Yep. You let it cook and you flip it to the other side so that way both of the sides are getting cooked fully.
okay I don't have any more space so I'm gonna just have to do that in the next one it's not ready yet yeah. for about like two two three minutes on each side okay so after a few minutes of flipping over the african paint this what it look like you see it kind of remind you of something yes the funnel cake so i would say don't make it as wet as mine because it will burn but yeah it should kind of look like donuts same color as donuts and that's it that's all it takes to make an african thing basically if you done so that's the way we can eat this sometimes you add a powder sugar on top of it or you can make your own hot sauce which we're not gonna do today because for the time's sake and that's a whole different ingredient too but yeah this is what the final is but this is it kind of kind of be have to be have you kind of have to be careful of this because it has too much oil so it's not that healthy that the you or appetizer because it has too much oil but yeah that's it